He sends Rucker in motion. Play action. As the man there hits him, it is Dave Logan. As the first down, 38-yard line. A gain of 11. Dennis Winston and Mel Blunt make the tackle, and we have the first first down of the ball game. So a 3-4 defensive set, third down and eight. Ball game just underway. Sipe, good protection, throws, it is there. First down, Dave Logan. Mel Blunt had the defensive coverage. It is a first down at the Pittsburgh 46-yard line for the Cleveland Browns opening drive of the football game. Sipe gives to Pruitt. He will lose a yard. Joe Green, defensive left tackle, was there for Pittsburgh. For the 75, second down, 11. Sipe, a blitz is on. He's in trouble. Jack Ham. For Ham, his fourth sack of the year. And for the Steelers, they're 34th. They're fourth in the National Football League. I guess I always wondered why we did not see a quick kick. Quick kick. Five on the pattern. Type with some pressure. Rolls out. He throws close to the line of scrimmage. Pass is complete. He will have the first down. There is not a flag. He barely got it off before he crossed the line of scrimmage. Sipe flirted with that line just as he got the pass away. Dino Hall in the backfield. Makes to him a play action. Drops it off to Dino Hall. The little scooter to the 25, to the 20-yard line. Dino Hall at 5'7", 165 pounds from Glassboro State. Stopped by L.C. Greenwood and Jack Ham at the 20. Here they come. Four on the batter. He's got a shot. Ozzie Newsom, touchdown. The Wizard of Oz does it again. Mel Blunt had perfect defensive coverage. But Ozzie Newsom, the former wide receiver from Alabama, opening drive of the ball game here at Three Rivers Stadium. We'll be back with a kickoff. Look at the Steelers. They are looking for an onside kick. It is high, and it is reasonably short. Taken to the 15-yard line by Anderson. Fumble. He fumbled. Cleveland can come up with the football. It is fumbled. The Browns have the break. The Pittsburgh Steelers. That is their 43rd 4-3 turnover of the year. The most in the National Football League. 21 turnover. Second down goal to go. Mike Pruitt sweep left. He will lose a yard. Jack Lambert, the middle linebacker. It will now be third down and goal to go. No running room at all for the Cleveland Browns. In the yard line of the Steelers. Pat Moriarty and Mike Pruitt are the two running backs. Sipe rolls. Throws in the corner of the end zone. It is incomplete. He was going to Ozzie Newsom. Joe Green was putting the pressure on it. So the steel curtain drops on the Cleveland Browns. 20 yards. It is good. The score is now Cleveland 10. And Pittsburgh nothing with 7.15 left to go. That is the time remaining in the first quarter as the Cleveland Browns are out in front of the Steelers back with a kickoff in a moment. The league in yardage with 987 and Bradshaw goes to the air. Pass is there to Stalwer. He is over 1,000 yards. Big opening play for the Steelers. Runs pass patterns, the patterns probably as well as anybody. Play action pass, Alzado at the new position, at the defensive tackle position. Good throw by Bradshaw. Stalworth comes up with the first down at the 35-yard line. Frank O'Hara to the 31-yard line. A gain of four, it'll be second down and six. Second back through is Rocky Blyer. Blyer to the 27-yard line, he picks up four. It'll be third down and two as Charlie Hall and Ron Bolton make the tackle. Becomes a tight end. Randy Grossman is the wing back. Going deep to Blyer and he overthrows it. He had him open earlier. And so Chuck Knoll has become the Mississippi gambler in the mode of Sam Ritigliano, the head coach of the Browns. Matt Barr. Cole quit holding. As long as this year is 46. And he has it with room to spare. And the Steelers are on the ball. As Matt Barr converts from 45 yards away. 
Dino takes it at the 11-yard line. He's to the 20. Slips a tackle to the 30. Excellent return. 35, 40. Dives to about the 43, maybe the 44-yard line. Zach Valentine was the man who covered him, and the Browns have excellent field position. Lynn, five. Third down and six. Four on the pattern. Sight drills it. First down. Pittsburgh, 40-yard line. J.T. Thomas made the tackle. Ozzie Newsom, the tight end, had the catch. Cleveland, the number one offense in the conference. Fake the hall. Then he throws to Dino, and a flag is down. That will be holding against the Browns. They will bring it back. There's a fumble. The ball bounced forward enough for the first down. Cleveland, I believe, recovered the fumble, but we'll go back to the marker. Down except for the flag it is holding against the Browns. Once again, Sipe had to go to his outlet, man. That was Blitz is coming. Going deep. Ozzie Newsom. Incomplete. Donnie Shell was there for the Steelers. Newsom. Did not have a step on Shell. Excellent defensive coverage. Yes, it was good coverage, but he threw some split away left. Sipe rolls. All the time in the world. Oh. Throws incomplete to the hands of Cleo Miller. <laughs> Bell takes it on the run at the 17. 25, maybe the 26-yard line on the return. Defense number 49 Ooh, crucial before penalty. the kick. Five-yard penalty, and that's the first step. That is on the Steelers. Our information from the truck is that it was on the Brown. Side play action. Overthrown. Oh, he caught the football. Did he pull it down? It was over. Ozzy Newsom. I was looking for the interception, and Newsom... Pull it down. He's got the outside. Pruitt, sweep left. And he is run out of bounds by J.T. Thomas. They'll mark it out at the 17-yard line, a gain of five. It'll be second down and five. I think that's the longest gain on first down with the running play that the Browns have had so far in this ball game. Defense as Robin Cole comes aboard. Zipe looks left, throws, and it's knocked away. Good defensive play by Mel Blunt. Dave Logan, the intended receiver, and that means that Don Cockroft will come in with a field goal at tip up coming. Logan, a wide receiver last week at a bad hole because he had stick him on his hand. This time he does it, it is good. It is Cleveland, 13, Pittsburgh, three. We are seven, seven seconds into the second quarter. We'll be back with a kickoff. Brad shot to throw on first down. Lynn Swan pulls it in, one hand grab. One to the 45-yard line. Well, I'll tell you, Ozzie Newsom doesn't have anything on number 88, Lynn Swan, because did not play seven weeks ago with these two teams. Right there. Cleveland, 48-yard line. It is second down and two. On the draw, Rocky Flyer, first down. 40-yard line of Cleveland, a gain of eight. Dick Ambrose and Clay Matthews with the stop. Four on the pattern. Dropped off to Blyer. He pulls it in. He is wrapped up by Clay Matthews at the 33-yard line. A gain of seven yards on the play. It'll be second down and three. Pitch off through a pass. This time I look for him to give the ball to Franco Harris. Blyer in motion. Franco with Blyer leading it. Franco around the corner. Dives first down. That time they sealed off the inside. There was no penetration by the Cleveland Browns. And Browns counteract with a 3-4 defense. Four linebackers in. It is overthrow. Credit to Cleveland Browns secondary and the linebackers for good coverage on that one. It is no good. The kick is no good. It is off to the left. Blyer. Blyer to the 49-yard line. First down. Steelers have 45 yards rushing so far in the ballgame. Bradshaw. Gregory chases him. Out of bounds. He will go out at the 48-yard line of Cleveland. Jackson becomes the fourth linebacker. Rocky Blyer. 
Flyer inside, first down. Boy, I'll tell you something. Mike Webster really did a job on number 78, Mickey Sims. And here it is Cleveland 13, Pittsburgh 3. Steelers on the move. Rocky Blyer is the man who has led the charge. Continuing effort to the 32-yard line. A gain of eight yards on the play. It'll be second, a little over two to go as Tom Darden makes the tackle. There's Frank O'Hara jumps to the outside. First down, 25-yard line, and then to the 21. 21. Look for him to continue to run. Rocky Blyer inside, hit by Jack Gregory. They'll mark it to the 17-yard line, a gain of four. Play action. In zone, tight end. Cunningham. He goes. Did not have possession. The Browns in a 3-4 defense. More time, and he underthrow. Terrible pass. Frank O'Hara. But again, you had four receivers downfield. This one is good. We have 5:06 left to go in the first half. It is Cleveland 13, Pittsburgh six. We'll be back with a kickoff. Both backs into block. Plenty of protection. Dumps it off to Ozzie Newsom, the tight end, who was the outlet man. Wanted to go deep. A flag is down on the play. 59 defense grabbing the face mask. That's a five-yard penalty and a first down. Leo Miller and Calvin Hill in the backfield for the explosive Brown offense. Play action. Sight stands in, waits and waits, and then rolls. Waits again, sets, throws. He's got a man open. Calvin Hill. Oh, Hill is hit at the 22. Deck as he falls to the 19-yard line by Donnie Shell. But credit that offensive line of the Browns. Seif had all day to throw. Checks in for the defense. Third down seven. Both backs in the block. Logan, battle for it. It is there. Dave Logan pulling the ball away from Ron Johnson. It's exactly what I was talking about, throwing the ball up. He was not really open, but he is watching the football all of the way, whereas that defensive man generally has his back to the quarterback. Ryan Seif has now thrown for 25 touchdowns on the year. Credit that offensive line of doing really a great job. That time, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they were going after Seif with the blitz. To the football. Bradshaw sends five out on the pattern. Over the middle, pass is complete. Close to the first down as he goes to Lynn Swan. No, it's not Swan. It's the tight end, Vinnie Cunningham. The National Football League today. First down, Pittsburgh, their own 34-yard line. Franco Harris, big hole. Hit at the 38. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Clay Matthews makes the tackle. Right. That time he wiped out the middle linebacker, Dick Ambrose. Second and four, going very quickly. Hurry up offense. Redshaw throws far side, has his man there. It is Lynn Swan. Pass is complete. It is a first down, Cleveland Territory at the Browns 43-yard line. And first down, Steelers. Five on the pattern. They have only one timeout remaining. Bradshaw deep over the middle. Pass is complete to Cunningham. Cunningham to the 23-yard line. A gain of 20, a flag is down. Just plucked it out of the sky. Here it is coming right there. Really an outstanding catch. And I think if you can hear the fans here at Three River Stadium, they're not happy with the call. In the first half. Three, four defense. Rocky Blyer. Lockers in front. Rocky to the 15-yard line. Counting. Five on the pattern. Right side. Franco goes out of bounds. Stops the clock. Eight-yard line. Franco pulls his way to the two-yard line. He's got Franco. Franco has it. Touchdown, Steelers. A 77-yard drive in eight plays against the clock. And for Franco Harris. 
seem to see Bradshaw just dubbing it off to 32. Franco Harris coming out of the backfield. You can see there's no one around him. Number 28, Bolton, comes up, but it's much too late. 76-yard drive, eight plays. For the Pittsburgh Steelers, they're right back in the football game. The countdown is Sam Reticliano and the Cleveland Browns head for the locker room, as does Chuck Knoll and the Pittsburgh Steelers. That is the end of the first half with the score. Cleveland 20, Pittsburgh 13. Davis on the corners, Scott and Darden at the safety. Bradshaw scrambles out to his right. Outside the 35, has the first down. They'll mark it down at the 38-yard line, a gain of 13. Down seven. Running back split. Passing formation. Five on the pattern. Pump fake right. Set throws back left. Pass is complete to Stallworth. Flag is down as Bradshaw was decked. Elbow at it. See if John Gonzalez, our director, George Bickle, our producer, has captured this bit of action. Could well have checked off. Franco Harris sweeps. Hurdles one man. Picks up three, maybe four yards. Oliver Davis. Rushing attempt in category slot. Behind O.J. and Jim Brown. Rocky Blyer inside the 35-yard line. We'll give him three. It'll be third down and three. Steelers on the move. Opening drive, second half. Four on the pattern. Franco stays in the block. Rocky Blyer has it at the 30. First down. Swan wide to the far side. Five on the pattern. Over the middle, tight end. Cunningham, first down. Flag drop back at the 44-yard line. Number 79. Call on Larry Brown, the offensive right tackle. Bradshaw sits five on the pattern. Has time. Goes deep. He'll, he'll overthrow to Jim Smith. And this is what he was doing last week. It was off the field. Brian Sipes, the quarterback, Calvin Hill, and Mike Pruitt are the two running backs. Rucker in motion, little play action. Looks left, goes deep, pass is complete. It is Dave Logan with the reception. Jack Ham and Donnie Shell make the tackle. Play action on second and seven. Sight. He oh, he's got Logan it. wide and open. The flag is down, and he has the first down, but with the marker, it could well be offensive holding. Well, I'll tell you, number 85, Dave Logan, was wandering downfield all by himself. We're in. Tripping number 73. Mike Pruitt. 38 yard line. Gets five of it back. It'll be third down and 12. And the Steelers with five men in the secondary. They start to drift back. Five on the pattern. Sipe over the middle. Oh, yeah. Pass is complete. Dave Logan, first down. Dave Logan having another outstanding afternoon. Sipe to Reggie Rucker. Rucker to the 25-24 yard line. Back-to-back -back first down for the Cleveland Browns. To the far side. Deuce the tight end is put away. And look out. That is Henry Shepard. The right tackle jumping back. That will be a quick five yards against Henry Shepard. Once that offensive line from tackle to tackle. Go to that three-point stance. You cannot move. It's an automatic call. They have made that many mistakes this afternoon. They've been doing a really a good job of protecting this man. They haven't been able to establish that running game Five yet. on the offense. In the Central Division, they could decide who makes the playoff. First down, 10 yard line. Dave Logan once again. Well, I'll tell you. Have led throughout the ball game. 10 nothing. 10-3. 13-3, 13-6, 20-6, 20-13. -6, Side pump fake. Rolls, throws, has his man. It's Mike Pruitt. Pruitt at about the three-yard line. We're placed now by Cleo Miller. Third down goal to go. Side Calvin Hill. Hill has it. Touchdown to Calvin Hill. That was an excellent throw. It wasn't that far, but he was fairly well covered. He had about a half a step on the defensive man. Ryan Sipe put the ball exactly where he had to throw the ball. It was outside and away. Here, his 26th on the season. His defensive unit. 
Bradshaw again, this time right side. Franco Harris. Harris to the 20, first down. Hit at the 20, falls forward to the 22-yard line. It'll be a first down. Remaining. Franco Harris. Big hole. Franco outside the 30. Past the first down marker. 13. Steelers with the ball, second and 10, their own 32. Franco Harris. Slips the tackle. 41-yard line. And now Randy Grossman is in. Jerry Mullins is in. A short yardage situation. Play action. Sick. That indeed. Grossman is there. 30 yard line. 20 yard line. It was third down and one. Grossman is the wing back in that short yardage formation. Rocky Blyer. Blyer to the 10. Blyer to the six yard line. A gain of six. He needs six. Bradshaw throws. but the ball never got to the end zone. Franco Harris. It is Franco. Touchdown. That makes it 27 to 19. Extra points still to come. Period. Taking a look at that offensive line. Look at the surge by that offensive line. When you can do that, push that defensive unit back, the momentum of the back is going to carry into the end zone. Up front, you're taking a look at that Webster... Corson Davis, the middle of the line. As Franco Harris scores the touchdown, we'll be back with a kickoff. And throw it, the running back. Sight play action. Ryan is sacked. Second sack of the ball game for the Steelers, and Greenwood got it. A seven. Franco Harris, sweet far side. Corson, the lead blocker. Oliver Davis for the defense. 28-yard line, gain of nine, second down and one. Franco again, first down, cuts to the outside, fumble! Second turnover for the Steelers as the Browns come up with a fumble recovery. They defeat him. Third down three. Incomplete. Flag is down. Ozzie yep. Newsom, the intended receiver. Jack Lambert, number 58, is really... <laughs> giving it to the officials, but they're going to call him for roughing the passer. And they play Cleveland next week, and then they play Pittsburgh. Third clips, third sack rather, of the game, Jack Ham. They're faking it. They drop back. Sight drops back to throw. Oh, he got a man way up. Cleo Miller is all by himself. If he can all find by him. him. Now he sees now. it. Miller is wrapped up. After a gain of about five yards on the play, maybe only four by Jack Ham, but this gives Cockroft, the field goal kicker, a little bit of distance. Yeah. His hand, a 40-yard attempt by Cockroft. He's got it. It's good. So Cockroft has hit from 20, has hit from 32, and now has hit from 40 yards away. The Browns lead by 10. It is Cleveland 30 and Pittsburgh 20 with 9.44 left. Steelers from their own 37-yard line. They trail now by 10. Bradshaw goes to work. Pass is complete. First down. Vinny Cunningham, the tight end. Tackle. Bradshaw drops it off. Rocky Blyer. Wire to the 40-yard line. A pickup of seven on the play. Two seconds remaining. Franco slips, still manages to pick up the first down. First down. Bradshaw sweeps five on the pattern, drops it off to Franco. Great block by Corson. Ball is fumbled, then picked out of the air by Tom Darden, but the play, I believe, had been blown down. Cleveland, 24-yard line. Looping it to the tight end, Cunningham. One-yard line. 23 yards on the play. It'll be first down, goal to go. First down, goal to go. Flyer in motion. Bradshaw to throw. He'll be sacked. 
Back at the 15-yard line. I cannot believe he doesn't go to Franco. I do not understand why he didn't at least throw the ball. You're inside the two-yard line. The to make decisions in a hurry. Swan and Stallworth, the wide receivers back in. 15-yard line. Pass is complete. John Stallworth with the reception. It will be third down and goal to go. Touchdown! Inside trap. Good call with the man. quarterback. He's done it so many times, there's no reason not to get it to him once again. The Steelers have pulled within three with 4.42 left to go. We'll be back with the kickoff as Franco Harris has scored his third touchdown of the afternoon. 18-yard line. Sight throws into coverage, has the first down. At the 35-yard line, Ozzie Newsom, the tight end. J.T. Thomas with the tackle. 3.45, time remaining. Face mask. Face mask, Leo Miller. It was Robin Cole, unintentional. Browns lead by three. Play action. Great coverage downfield. Sipes in trouble. He'll take a sack. That is the fourth of the ball game for the Steelers. Five on the pattern. A four-man rush. Sipes steps away. Sets. He'll take another sack. That is the fifth. Greenwood and Furness got it. Sipes throws. He was throwing it away. Throwing it in the ground. He wanted pass interference on a call. He didn't get it. Bell backpedal. 23-yard line. Fights his way out of two tackles. To the 40. To the 45. 50-yard line. The Browns had him surrounded. Curtis Weathers finally got him at the 50. Theo Bell. I was just getting ready to say it was really good coverage by the Cleveland Browns, and it was, but it was a combination of excellent running by this man, Bell, and poor tackling by the Cleveland Browns. There's one man that had a shot, two men right there, grabbing, you can't do that, you better put those shoulder pads on this man because he does not want to come down. Finally, he's gonna take a good shot, and he will come down to the turf, but not downs away from a field goal. Bradshaw throws, complete. 36-yard line, Lynn Swan was on his knee. Two minutes now, two-minute warning will come up. It'll be a first down, we'll take a timeout. 138 when the ball was snapped, time remaining. Bradshaw drops it off, left side. Rocky Blair out of bounds, that will stop the clock. Second and seven. Looking to Swan. Looks back over the middle. Stallworth, first down inside the 10. Eight-yard line, John Stallworth. Franco Harris jumps outside. to the outside. It's cut down inside the four-yard line. Clock continues to move. It'll be third down and goal to go. Looping it into the corner, knocked away. This is another ordinary day here in Pittsburgh. Cole quit the holder. Matt Bardick, high snap, gets it down, it is up. It is good. We are tied. 30-30 with 24 seconds to go. We're staring overtime in the face. He is important to call as Cleveland will make. I wonder if Sam's going to make that decision. If I were the captain going out there, I would say, Sam, this is your choice. Sight since five of the pattern. Rolls left. Go. He's he got a man up for it. He'll do it. He's being chased. It's all that he can, then keeps going, he goes out of bounds. A big game for Brian Seif, whose two key runs last week against Miami in overtime. Set up that victory. There's so many times. They're coming after Seif. The sack at the 41-yard line. By Jack Lambert, a very costly play for the Browns, a very important defensive play for the Steelers. That would take him to the 30. They're coming after him again. Going up top. Ozzie Newsom. Intercepted. Bill Blunt with the interception. 
He caught it inside the five. His momentum takes him into the end zone. They will mark it at the spot of the interception. Steelers have the ball at the four-yard line. I'll tell you, if you stand up and stop them, they're going to win this football game because if they stop them here, they get good field position. Franco Harris, 12-yard line. This situation earlier in the ball game. He goes in motion, and Bolton goes with him. Pitches to Franco. Franco out of bounds. 15-yard line, first down. Over to the far side. It'll be Rocky Blyer. Blyer cuts back upfield. 4-3 defense. Franco Harris turns upfield. First down. Pittsburgh will host Cincinnati. They can become the spoilers. Rocky Blyer. Blyer from the 27 to the 34-yard line. He's in motion. They will not gamble. Franco, first down. 43-yard line. He picks up six and the first down. Pass is complete. First down, Stalwer. Cleveland, 45. Play pass. He's going up top. Swan. Could, Could be, be intercepted. Swan tripped the defender. There's a flag down. Yeah, it's going to be offensive. Uh, It'll be offensive pass interference against Lynn Swan. That's a good move, let me tell you. Because Better than an interception. It looked like Bolton had a, might have had a shot of intercepting that ball. He, they've got four men rushing against Bradshaw now. He drops this screen. one off to Franco Harris. Harris to the 50. 45, 41-yard line. They'll mark it close to the 40-yard line of the Cleveland Browns. Keep moving that ball, Terry. Five on the pattern. Franco over the middle, all alone. He's got the first down. 32-yard line, first down. Clarence Scott and Dick Ambrose with the tackle. Oh, within the field goal range of Matt Barr. Going deep over the middle. Tip, intercepting the Browns, have the football at the 11-yard line. throws pass is complete 30 yard line reggie rucker first down for the brown the last interception second and ten over the middle pass is complete and it is a first down calvin hill cleveland their own 44 yard line sipes in trouble he'll be sacked L.C. Greenwood got him. That is the fourth sack of the ball game for L.C. Greenwood. They need 17 here, or they'll have to kick. Logan tipped in complete. So the Browns will be kicking to the Steelers. Lauren Taves and Jack Lambert make the defensive play. You can now from their own 17-yard line, 343 left in overtime. Five on the pattern. Bradshaw. The lucky Blyer, and then out of bounds stopping the clock. 2.54 left in overtime. Franco Harris first down. Secondary. Uh oh, offsides. It's the break. Break for the Browns. They'll call the play back. Bradshaw scrambling. Fumbles. Steelers recover it, but they can bring it back or it can be refused. Illegal motion, the offense. It'll be second down. Okay. Second and 15 from the Steeler 29, Franco Harris. And Franco gets about four of it back. He's reacting to the pressure, but what they need now is a first down. Franco in the right flat. Redshaw scrambles. He'll, He'll pick it up. Redshaw first down, 50, 45, 40 out of bounds. 38-yard line of Cleveland. Time. And we are in overtime right now. Dropped off to Franco Harris. Harris to the 35. Harris to the 31 yard line. He's running. 50 seconds left in overtime. Franco Harris. 27 yard line. 44 seconds. Keep both backs in, too. Help block. Look at those defensive men. It's a draw play. Draw to Franco Harris. Franco to the 19 yard line. And Bradshaw takes a timeout with 13 seconds to go in overtime. The kick is up. It is gone. The Steelers win it. Nine seconds remaining. 
It is over. Overtime is over. Nine seconds to go in overtime. Field goal by Matt Barr. We asked how he is going to react to pressure. He just showed us right through the middle of the upfront. Matt Barr hitting four of five in the ball game. That was the most important of all. 37-yard field goal. The Steelers win it 33-30. Pittsburgh and Houston are tied with 10-3 record. Cleveland is now 8-5, and they host Houston next week. Pittsburgh will be hosting Cincinnati.